So this is Seth and today I'm going to show you how to set up DHCP on server 2008 within Active Directory that's strictly 2008. Um, <clears throat> so I have this secondary DC that I have as you can see by the name um, very uh, you know unique name second AD I have also a uh, first AD so I have two domain controllers within this domain and um, obviously has DNS on it. The other one also has some other stuff. So today I'm going to show you how to install and configure DHCP. Uh, fairly easy. So make sure your server manager is up. You click on Add Role. And you hit Next. And so from the list of roles available, you choose uh, DHCP server. Hit Next. Next. So you choose the network interface. From this list by default we have one so it's chosen we'll hit next so it shows you the domain name and the uh, IP address of um, this server you can also put another a DNS server in here should you choose you don't have to uh, I just so happen to have one so um, I'll put that in there and we'll hit next wins is not required this is We'll hit next. So here is asking you to create a scope. So we'll give this a name. We'll call it production. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, you know. So we'll uh, start the IP address at say 80, and we'll end it at 90. <clears throat> You don't have to. Um, you don't have to specify a default gateway, but if you want to, it's up to you. But you don't have to specify one. Um, and here, it, do you want at least to be uh, eight hours, basically a day, where you have contractors coming in and 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 plugging in, uh, or do you want the the default, which is the six days? It, like I said, it's up to you. It'll automatically renew the IP address, so it doesn't really matter. We'll choose the six days, and we'll check Mongus to activate the scope. We'll hit next. We'll just hit next, and it wants to know what credentials you want to use. Just go with the default. And so here you can review your settings. Once you think you have everything set up click on install it's going to go through and install your DSCP server and automatically configure the scope for you so as we can see it's installed here and so we're going to click on the plus and it shows our server click here and you can see it automatically activated our scope for us so if you click here on the plus so this is our scope and it's named uh, production is that that's what we called it and it's if, we had, if we had any leases it will show up here any workstations that are attached that will come up here this is the reservation list the cool thing with server 2008 um, is that if you have an, an address lease you can just right click and say add to reservation and it'll reserve that IP for that machine it's pretty cool. Um, these are the scope options um, and then these are the server options. Now you can create, you can configure options here which will be automatically added to any DHCP or any client that connects and gets an IP address or if you have a router you want to add to it, if you have a name server you want to add a uh, DNS server because that's what it asked us that in the beginning. It automatically adds that uh, and these are all uh, options which will be automatically assigned to a a, um, a client once the client receives that IP address. So along with the IP, um, if you've chosen gateway, it'll, uh, that'll be uh, given to a time server and so on and so forth. It just makes it easier for you. So um, in a nutshell, this is how you set up DHCP on server 2008 and server 2008 R2. Alright, thank you.